Hey guys, welcome to the Attic of Emily and Emily's Attic, and today I'm going to be doing an art desk tour. So anyway, I'm not going to do a long intro, so without further ado, let's get on to the video. So here's an overview of my desk. Here's an overview of my desk. We normally, I was saying, we normally start with the top of the desk, but I'm gonna do it under here. So we've got this art watercolor set, um, some adhesive spray um, artworks, and uh, 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 a, a Tantone sketchbook. Then up here in this drawer, I have a assortment of things. Um, and here is money. Um, a battery, pastels, racer, this weird chicken thing, colored pencils, oil pastels, a random paintbrush, and over here is, I have my white pins, um, I have this watercolor set, which is real nice, I love it, and as you can see, I've used it a lot. I have a couple sketchbooks here that I just haven't filled up, and I've just put some random drawings in here and then i have a notebook under here and uh i don't know what's under there actually this is a sketchbook i'm still currently working on it's my journal and i'm not far into this I'm not working on it that much and also it's thick this is a coloring book that i get inspiration from watercolor 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 pretty much i have lots of watercolors i have this one this one watercolor palette Another one. Oh, this is some rub-on stickers, and you will see these through the video and on things. And that is the drawer. Moving up. The next stage of my desk is where I do all my art. So first of all, here I have my sketchbook. I normally just, like, leave this here because, you know, I'm going to do some drawings. So I just leave it on my desk. Here's the important thing. <laughs> First of all, I have some pencils here and a random shader, and then here I have all my liners and the current uh, white liners I am using. White, white pens, whatever. My beloved Ohu markers. They're so beautiful. This is an organizer actually from Dollar Tree, and it works great. I think you should definitely get it. It was only one dollar. Right here, I have my Azura markers, which I got for Walmart when our papa came over, and they're really nice. I like using these because it kind of forces me to uh, use darker colors and kind of makes me experiment. Makes. This is also from Dollar Tree. They're like these little uh, capsules, I guess you could say, like in the science lab or whatever. Um, and they have erasers. These are like so nice. Then I have this little tin container that I also got from Dollar Tree. Oh, oh my liner. Just some random pencils and pens and erasers and things. Under here, we have twine from Dollar Tree. I use it for like decorating stuff. I have tape, and in here I have this big sticker. I love big stickers like this. I have washi tape, and a bunch of fairy garden stuff that I have yet to put up. But yeah, going up. The first thing we have here is a Koei water set, and it has one of the rub-on stickers, and also on the back it has this sticker. I need to use this more, but it's really pretty. And it's so cute. And then I have this, it's like a paint palette. I actually did a review on this on my channel. That was like a year ago. Here's a fun review to do. It's pretty on the outside. I had to clean this. So as you can see, this area is pretty plant themed. I wanted my whole desk to be kind of plant and blue themed and so I tried that up here and I think this is the most plant themed thing. This down here is a little random. Okay, first thing right here is we have a sensory bottle which I made a while ago and you've probably seen it in the my past videos. Um, all my, my tubers, this has been in it and it's really fun to watch. Then I have this plant, which I got from Dollar Tree. It's a fake plant, so yeah. But um, it kind of broke, so we just put some rocks down in there. 
to make it more weighted and more, uh, better. But it's really cute. I have two gummy erasers, but you can wait the theme. This one says, looking sharp, and this one is a cactus. They went together in a set from Dollar Tree, and they're really nice. And this container right here, I also decorated it with these rub-on stickers. I just have all these blue and greens and grays of my hula markers, the ones that wouldn't fit in the organizer you saw earlier. And this one is, I don't even know, I can't tell you, because, like, I don't even know. There's most random things, pencils, random markers, highlighters, markers, uh, scissor all that stuff okay in the window the goat pin and um, they're out right now and the line ain't up there but oh come on are you kidding so first of all here i have a jewelry holder which is like this uh cute little dress and i just hold a bunch of jewelry just a bunch of things I have gotten, um, some of it's my sister, some of it is mine, but yeah. Going down, we have this random bouncy ball, and it's really loud, so you can't really bounce it in the house. And then we have this, which is like a varnish that goes on top of like, I don't know, pastels and all that. Um, mostly paint. It kind of seals it in. And then this is a little bag that you made out of paper, it came from so cute, and it's holding these two, ooh erasers hey hello and that also from dollar tree actually a while ago i did a eraser collection on my channel so if you want to go see that uh then do so right here i have this girl um i drew her it was gonna be for john but instead i just put her here and it was raining yesterday so like the rain dripped down and it looked like she was sitting in it and so now every time it rains the rain will drip down, and it will be like that. It's really cute. So I wanted a plant, so I got one. Am I the only one that can't grow plants? So this is a strawberry plant from Dollar Tree. So pretty much you just soak the dirt, and then there's like seeds in the paper, and you put the paper between the dirt, and then you just spray it. And so it's going to take a little bit for this to grow, but it looks so cute. Another rub-on sticker. And these are more little knickknacks from Dollar Tree for fairy girl. So I said I liked collecting erasers. This is a little much. I have two containers of just erasers that run. So like all food erasers and animal erasers. <laughs> all my wait, 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 wait. This is an imposter. This is a wooden star that I actually painted on. So yeah, that's not an eraser. It doesn't work, so just clarifying that. <laughs> There's a monster among us. Erasers, if you want me to do an updated tour on every one of my erasers, I can, because I've got a lot of cool new ones. I can't help it. When I see them in Dollar Tree, I just have to get them. Oh, look, more. This is also from Dollar Tree. Um, it's a pizza eraser thing, and I was so excited when I found out that they carry these. But they're so cute. Look at it. And all the erasers from Dollar Trees are, like, top quality. Like, they're the best erasers. Not all of these are from Dollar Tree. Um, some of them are from Amazon. And I found the ones that are at Dollar Tree work the best. Over here in this little corner, I have two notebooks. These notebooks are thumbnail notebooks, so they're pretty much just for planning the sketches before I actually do them. So there's lots of swatches in here and all mess and different things that, like, are for planning. There are some completed drawings in here, um, like those, but, yeah, kind of like Mariah Elizabeth sketchbook sketchbook. <laughs> so, over here, so this is a mess, so we're gonna go through it quickly. First of all, nail polish, clippers, hairband, pastel, plastic, a brace, a bookmark, abstract, painting, pom-pom, twinkle light, ever, what? Don't ask. Color pencils, a box, uh... Yeah, that, uh, microfiber cloth, coloring, uh, charcoal stuff, and this bag that my friend Missy gave me. <laughs> it's so pretty. Look. Going down, ooh, chip. Down here we have, in this drawer, a bunch of random stuff, painted rocks. These are clothespins from Dollar Tree. Um, a charging block and a nail polish. And then, oh, wow. 
papers, uh, paint, craft stuff, bookmarks. Mm. These drawers are so nice. More papers, but these are like more contained. Pom pom and some notebooks that I have. I have too many notebooks. Just gonna clarify that. The dark abyss. This isn't every video, but like it's so hard to get to this cabinet. It's not very. Oh, oh my gosh, I found money. $2. That is what we found in this video. Wow. Okay, so I have. This graph notebook, which is like, you know, for drawing. Um, I have sticky note thing, coloring book, random notebook, and these are sketchbooks I fill. And that's not even half of them. So this is a lot. I did a sketchbook tour in this one, um, and on that one. I haven't done on these. This is the newest one I have filled, and I yet to do a sketchbook tour on that. A lot. This is not even half of them. There's two drawers filled with sketchbooks over there. Oh my god. Also, let me clarify, I messed up. That's the 22nd sketchbook. Or is it the 23rd? Wait a minute. I could use this. I need this. Wait. I'm bringing this up. I need this. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to clarify what's back there because I don't even know myself. That's it. <laughs> okay, that was kind of terrifying. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> To smash my sketchbooks? Now we're done. Oh wait, no we're not. If you travel from the bottom of my desk all the way to the top and up, you will find one last thing. Water cycle. No, I'm joking. This. I just made this and I think it's really, really cute. So it goes from my art desk to that, which is a mess. I'm gonna clean it. This whole room is still a work in progress because we actually moved our room around. So we're still working on it. It's so cool. Anyway, this is a bunch of different drawings that I have done, so I'm just gonna go through them. This was actually a video, so this is some profile pictures I did for 60 sub special, and now I have like 80, I think I have 80, so thank you so much guys. My goal for this year is to get to 100, and I think we can reach it. This random eye, which I did like at 12 a.m. <laughs> it's cool. Watercolor Mountain. These are some black paint drawings, which I actually did a video on some of these, so. If you want to see that, it's like a really short video on some black paint drawings. I went through a phase where that's all I was doing. This cat that I did like three years ago, also did this like three years ago, but it's pretty. And another mountain. So guys, that is my whole art desk, and I love it. That is it for today, and I really, 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 really like my new art desk. I think it's very pretty, and I've been making lots of art here, and some sketchbook tours are going to be coming up soon, so I hope you like watching this video on Lily's Attic. Fix the lighting. Subscribe to my channel. Give you a big thumbs up. I feel like I don't even say. Give this video a big thumbs up. And turn on your notifications. And share this video around the world. I never know what to do when I'm holding the world. What am I supposed to do? La 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 la. <laughs> I hope you like watching this video. I hope you like watching this video on Lee's Attic. Bye. Random, but I straightened my hair. My sister straightened my hair last night, and I think it looks pretty good. <sighs> do you guys ever do that? Like, because I do it all in the movies. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Why do I just talk about random things? Thank you for watching. <laughs>
and so pretty much you can fill out the rain the drops on this one there's a bunch of different designs Lola I actually designed this one um, because she likes sewing so there's sewing ones there's ones for boys because boys are always playing video games these days so we want to encourage them oh, to I did read. That one too. Well, I did this one. If you're a horse freak, um, this is just the simple first one, and then this is the one I'm using, which it ripped because I accidentally stuck tape on it. But the owl one. So these are only 99 cents on my website, and <laughs> so pretty much. It's, it's going to be the link in the description, and you can go there and buy them, and you can start getting motivated to read. I seriously need to get motivated to read, though. Then get those bookmarks. Get to it, get to it.